Hello and welcome to Facetious Gaming. My name is Sir Aaron and today I'm looking at a game called Beat Hazard. Now as you can see in this disclaimer, please if you are if you get photosensitive seizures or you're epileptic or anything like that, please don't watch this. I am recording at 30 FPS, so it shouldn't technically give you a fit, but just in case you've been warned. This game has a lot of flashing lights and crazy stuff in it. Okay. So, this is a game called Beat Hazard. This is, in fact, Beat Hazard Ultra. And it's a game... It's, it's quite hard to describe. It's sort of... Well, as you can see, gameplay powered by your music. It's kind of like Space Invaders, though. You play a little ship, and you fly around shooting other little ships, and asteroids and other things, and bosses. Um, if you've ever played um, Igaruka, it's similar to that. But yes, as you can hear, it's powered by your music. Uh, this is, in fact, not the soundtrack. This is um, Metroid Techno. Cool. Um, it's compatible with an Xbox 360 controller, as you saw, and I believe the game is also available on Xbox Live Arcade and the uh, PSN, so that's cool. Uh, right, yes, so Beat Hazard Ultra. This is the one that you want to get because it comes with online play, uh, extra perks, extra bosses, extra modes. Um, so yeah, let's just go right into a game. We've got uh, lots of different modes. Standard mode, you just play a track, and that's the level, and stuff is randomly generated. Survival is... Oh, these next three uh, are kind of different. Survival um, will... Uh, I think it plays just track after track after track, and you've got to survive as long as possible. Same with Boss Rush, only all the enemies are bosses. And Chill Out is uh, unlimited lives, and you play track after track after track, so you can like play a whole album. Uh, so yeah, let's just go into standard mode. So yes, these are these are my tracks. Uh, Beat Hazard does come up with its own music, so let's just pick a random one here. Sounding quite cool. What about this? See, I haven't actually checked any of these out yet. Um, the yellow ones are ones that you've played, um, but not completed the green ones you've completed. Uh. Oh Christ, that's nine minutes long. Okay, let's not play that one. Let's play this one then. Uh, yes, so you've got a number of difficulties, including suicidal, insane, hardcore. Uh, I'm just going to play on normal because I don't want to embarrass myself. You can change how graphically it is. Let's just play on 100% for now. So, the idea behind it is that the faster the music, the more powerful your weapons, and the faster things come at you. So, at the moment, there's almost no beat, so I'm shooting really pathetic shots. But the beat picks up, and things start moving faster. And as they do, my weapon gets more powerful. You can see it. You can physically see that my weapon gets more powerful. And here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, turns out spinning and circle. Oh, here's a boss. Wow. Yeah, you don't normally get a boss straight away, but. Um, yeah, it turns out spinning around is actually quite a good tactic. Uh, yeah, so everything drops, power ups, and things. Uh, you get volumes. Volume increases, uh, which increase your score. Multipliers, like there, which increase your score. 
Uh, you get cash to buy perks, you get power-ups, and all that good stuff. Uh, it is very, very flashy, and I've seen a lot of people complain that, you know, how can you possibly play this game when you can't see what the fuck is happening? Well, yeah, there is that. Um, but you kind of get used to it pretty quickly. Um, and if you don't, then don't buy the game, pretty much. Uh, it's really, really cheap on Steam for £4.50 at the moment, but that's because there's a Steam sale on... So if you're watching this after the Steam sale, Steam sale, then it'll probably be about a tenner. That's with Beat Hazard Ultra, which is the one that you want to get. Um, so yeah, slow down a bit, and now it's speeding up a bit and slowing down a bit more. Let's have a bomb. Yeah. Uh, you can also buy perks like Ultra Beam, which I'll show you in a second once there's enough enemies. Um, pick up bombs. Ultra Beam! Boom! Uh, there's also Ultra Ultra Beam, in case Ultra Beam isn't enough, you know. <laughs> uh, but I haven't unlocked that yet. I think all Ultra Ultra Beam does is uh, makes it Ultra Beam last longer or something. it doesn't actually last that long. So it's a WASD to move around and to aim at things you just use your mouse. It's pretty simple. Um, oh crap, yeah. You die pretty easy as well. If you touch anything, then you die, more or less. Uh, which is why bombs and ultra beam things are coming really handy. Oh yeah, avoid rainbows. Rainbows try to kill you in this game. <laughs> which I learned. Uh, to my dismay, I was like, oh, rainbows! I wonder what they do. Oh, they kill me. <laughs> um, yeah, homing missiles. Pretty, pretty standard, really. Um, it's kind of like Igaruka, only not as ridiculously difficult. Uh, and it goes to your music, so it's kind of like Guitar Hero ish. Um, uh, no, it's not really like Guitar Hero. Um, oh, hello. Yeah, I have 8-bit Mayhem, which is like 30-minute tracks of pure 8-bit. So, oh yeah, I actually played one of them yesterday. It's quite exhausting, considering that you only get a certain number of lives per, um, per track as well. It doesn't matter how long the track is, you only get like 3 lives or something. So I'm trying to play a 30-minute track that's really, really fast, like this, as you'll hear in a second, is pretty ridiculous. Um, in fact, yeah, let's put this on. Because it's awesome. Um, that's the other thing, is that it plays it in the background. Like, doesn't matter what you're doing. Uh, yeah, so let's just show you... Oh no, actually. Tell you what we'll do. We'll go on boss rush and let's, <laughs> let's go crazy with the uh, ridiculous amount of stuff. Okay. Yes. So there's waves. Basically, no, bosses. They start off easy and get ridiculous. The reason that you want Beat Hazard Ultra is because these weird worm boss things and like three or four other bosses don't actually exist in the original game. These are actually really tough as well. When there's not when there's not much playing, they're really tough. Very appropriate music, 8-bit, to this game. Whoa! Yeah, they shoot faster when the music gets faster as well. Um, which is 
pretty ridiculous. Ultra Beam in your face. Uh, I'd like to uh, show you the, some of the harder difficulties as well, which I haven't actually played yet. Um, i also show you the uh, online, which you can only access if you have the Hazard Ultra. So there's another reason to get it. No idea what that is. I don't have time to check. A friend of mine actually wrote his dissertation uh, whilst listening to 8 Bit Mayhem for like <laughs> for like a week straight, just 8 Bit Mayhem. Um, How do I kill this thing? Oh my god, there's another one! Oh my god! Piss off! <laughs> ah. Ah. This is such a hard game. Unbelievably hard game. Um, but incredibly fun. Uh, as long as you don't get seizures, of course. Otherwise it's no fun at all. Unless you like getting seizures. But, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just ignore that I said that. It's completely irrelevant. Yeah, so you have a time limit to kill these bosses, apparently, which I didn't realise before. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I died. Five waves. Um. You level up really quickly, apparently. I've been playing for about an hour, and I've already got... 7 million XP. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just show you uh, a bit of the online play. I'm hoping to persuade either Mike or John, probably John, to get this game. Uh, and... Uh, then we can do some multiplayer, which would be cool because you've got a two player. But yes. Um, yeah, so we get perks which you can buy by unlocking them by playing the game. And then you get cash and you buy them. Like, oh, I can't actually afford any. Cool. Um, but yes, achievements, pretty pretty standard stuff, but all awesome. Uh, yes, so let's try and get some online play. You, you will do. Yes, so we've got head-to-head -head and co-op. Uh, I actually prefer co-op, which I think he's just changed it to, which is cool. Yes, so it comes with its own uh, soundtrack as well. Um, and it will support almost any uh, media file, uh, I think. Oh no, you have to pay if you you have to pay like I think it's 50p or a quid extra if you want it to support uh, iTunes files because iTunes are gay and they have their own uh, media format, uh, which is a bit stupid, but. Oh well, I Macintosh are crazy, we all know that. Um, avoid the rainbows. Um, I might release a video, a couple of videos, just me playing certain tracks that I think are awesome. Like some, just just put some of my favourite music on and play be hazard to it because. I don't know, that, that might be cool. Uh, providing I don't just completely screw. How did I die then? <laughs> I, uh, what? Oh well. 